Howdy! In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can easily adjust a CD character rig to fit another character model. I'll also be demonstrating the new CD transfer skin command, which will transfer the skin weights from one character mesh to another. To follow along with this tutorial, you'll need the CD Character Bundle Pro and the CD Transfer Tools plugins. First, let's take a look at a couple of options that are on every IK tag in the CD IK Tools plugin. Now here I have a simple setup using a CD Lim IK. And what I'm going to do is turn on the Keep Bones Connected and the Keep Next Connected options. And what this will allow me to do is go into the Axis tool and now I can select the joints and move them around without corrupting the functionality of the IK. So for example if I have an existing rig with a character with a short arm and I want to adjust it to fit another character that has a longer arm, I'd simply move the controller into position and then select and move the joints into position and the IK would be adjusted to fit the new character. Okay here I have a character that's rigged and skinned and I'm going to transfer all of that rigging and skinning over to this new character mesh. Now, uh, when I adjust the rig to fit this new character model, uh, I'm going to leave the old mesh skinned. Now, the adjustments are going to uh, stretch and deform the old character mesh, but that will simply make it easier to transfer the weighting. To make the adjustments, I'm going to switch the display to lines, and I'm going to colorize the uh, original uh, model so that I can easily distinguish between the two models here in the viewport. Now the first thing I want to do is get this uh, existing rig ready to be adjusted to fit the new model. Um, I have a setup here where I just click this control object here in the viewport and it returns the rig back to its bind pose. So I want to disable that so I don't accidentally uh, return it to the old bind pose in the middle of adjusting it to fit the new model. So that setup is using the CD transfer selected tag. So I'm just going to turn the transfer off and now uh, it, if I accidentally click on this object it it won't return the rig back to its bind post. Next I want to uh, set the CD bind post tag in edit mode uh, because we'll be setting a new bind pose for the new model. I'm also going to do the same for the bind pose in the CD hand tags. Like so. Uh, now we're ready to set a new bind pose once we get the uh, rig adjusted. Okay, now we'll uh, set the options on the IK tag that will allow us to uh, adjust the position of the joints. Uh, on the CD spinal tag, we'll turn these two options on. And there are several uh, limb IK tags in this rig. And what I'm going to do is just select one of them and then use the CD select all same uh, command from the CD transfer tools. Now I have all of the CD lim IKs selected and I'll turn those options on on all of them at once. Now the uh, the CD foot IK works with the CD lim IK so that when I turn those options on in the CD lim IK uh, they were automatically turned on in the CD foot IK. Okay, next I'll go to the CD thumb tag and I'm going to use the CD select all same to make sure that I get all of them and 
enable the keep bones connected here. And then also on the CD finger tag, select all same and keep bones connected. Okay, now I'm ready to start uh, adjusting the rig. And I'm going to move to the side view. And I'm going to first adjust the position of the body controller. Move that down and forward a bit. Take a look. Okay, looks good. Okay, next I'm going to adjust the foot controller. And just move that over a little bit. Move that. Let's see. Back a little. And looks like I need to rotate it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to go into the axis tool and adjust some of these um, null objects that are underneath the foot controller. I just want to pull that one back a little bit. And this one will need to be in the same position as that. So I'm going to use the CD transfer command holding the control key down to make sure and set the options and I just want to enable position there okay and then I want to adjust the foot bank outer because because this model's uh, foot is a little wider so I need to pull that out just a little bit and the angle looks okay and the foot bank inner need to pull that out a little bit. Looks like I need to adjust the angle there, so I'm going to rotate that a bit. Okay, everything else looks okay. Now, uh, I need to do the those same adjustments to the uh, right foot controller. So what I'm going to do is use the CD transfer mirror command and mirror the entire hierarchy. Now first I'm going to go back to the object. I'm going to select the uh, right foot controller. Shift select the left foot controller. I'm going to hold the control key down and call the CD transfer mirror command. And I want to enable position, enable rotation, and include children. And I click OK. Um, I'll get this little uh, warning here, but uh, for some reason I always get this warning, uh, even though the two hierarchies are identical. So I'm just going to ignore this and click Yes. And there we have uh, the right foot controller in position. Okay, next I'm going to adjust the leg joints. So I'm going to go into, oh, wait a minute. First, I want to make sure the knee is pointing, pointing in the right direction. And it looks like this character model has its knees pointing uh, more inward. So I'm just going to move that over just a little bit like so okay and uh, here I'm going to uh, also use the CD transfer mirror command to mirror the position of the opposite side there we go okay now I need to uh, select the knee joint and I'm going to go into the axis tool and go to the side view 
and position the knee joint to the uh, new model knee which is uh, about right there and here again I'm going to just simply mirror that to the other side select the right hip select the left hip and use the CD transfer mirror command just ignore that there we go okay the next thing is to adjust the joints of the spine uh, so I'm gonna go back into the object tool and go to the uh, front view and zoom in a little here on the on the spine and let's see I might want to move the uh, stomach joint up a little bit um, see the chest joint looks okay uh, but the uh, well I don't know let's see let's go to the side view we'll look at the position of the chest tip that might need to come up just a little bit and we need to adjust the chest controller to come back more maybe up a little bit about like that let's go back to the front view yeah that looks pretty good zoom in a little here okay so what I'm going to do is make sure that the chest controller is in the same position as the chest tip so I'm going to select these two and use the CD transfer command. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to uh, adjust the neck and head joints. Now, because we had to move um, the chest tip or the chest controller, we had to move it back because this character is has his back curved backwards a little bit more. Um, you notice that the rotation of the neck joint here is not straight up. So to fix that I'm going to simply rotate uh, this parent object forward a little bit. Here we go. And now I'm going to uh, you can see this character has a longer neck so I'm going to move the head joint up a little bit and I'm going to do that using the coordinates uh, in the attributes manager. Now if I hold the option key down I can move uh, or I can increment this value at a smaller uh, increment. Uh, so here we go just move it up slightly about right there and that looks pretty good maybe maybe I'll rotate this forward just a little bit more there we go.